All right, let's go. Good move. Ah, thanks, Gale. All right. Nice, we got it. Crowd control. Let's see what they could do. <laughs> All right, never mind. Counter. Oh, she parried it. What? <laughs> Are you kidding me? Uh, mine. Mind link? Alright, whatever. Just fly across the map. Why don't you do it? Uh, another crowd control? Critical hit? <laughs> Alright, my main character. Hopefully, Turkle Tron can do something, man. What are we gonna do? Smite? Alright, let's try it. <laughs> of course, we missed it, okay? Uh, Alright, um. I guess it's Sanctuary Gale. Man, what is going on with this? Alright, let's hit some damage. Parried, alright, missed. 60%. And we missed. That's. Ugh, can't rage now. Let's get this. Let's get it under control. <laughs> and you shrunk me, okay. Blinded, of course. Oh, Perry, of course. Frightened. Excellent. Jumped all the way across the map. Critical hit and both of my weapons dropped. <laughs> Another critical hit. What is this one doing? <laughs> all right. Well, at least my frame rate doesn't suck. Hey, guys, Trick here. I hope you're having a good one. Here on the channel, I've given Baldur's Gate 3 a bit of a hard time. I love to play this game on my Steam Deck. But now that I'm into Act 3, I'm between a rock and a hard place. Don't get me wrong, I think this game looks gorgeous. But as I get into the city of Baldur's Gate, I just can't handle the poor performance. Now that we're in a bit of a hardware release lull and I've got some extra time to play games, I figure it's time to get back to Baldur's Gate. Fresh off the heels of my DLSS 3 video, it got me thinking. Maybe frame generation can keep me playing. Sure enough, Pure Dark has a DLSS 3 mod for Baldur's Gate 3, so let's give it a shot. Once you've downloaded the mod from his Discord, unzip the package, drag and drop the contents into your game's bin directory, and you're all done. Once you're in the game, enable either DLSS or DLAA, and your screen will go black. This is normal. Hit enter or A on your controller, then force quit the game. Once the game starts back up, you'll be using NVIDIA's upscaling technology. To enable frame generation, hit the end key on your keyboard and check the frame generation box. There's no restart required, and the setting can be toggled as you please. One final caveat though, if you want to change your DLSS setting, say going from quality to balanced mode, your screen will go black, so you'll have to restart your game for that to apply. For me, I find DLAA plus frame generation to be an excellent setup for my 5800X3D processor, RTX 4060 Ti GPU at ultra quality settings. With the straightforward setup, what kind of performance are we looking at here? Loading up an older save near the Adamantine Forge, I enjoy the native experience. At 1080p, 168 FPS on average is excellent, but a 42 FPS 1% low is noticeable. But as we know, this game is heavily CPU limited and engaging DLSS to quality mode actually hurts our performance. However, I see better 1% low performance, which might be worth the trade-off. But what about frame generation? Unfortunately, at 1080p, our average performance is already pretty strong, but 1% lows see a drastic improvement. With this setup, I can easily cap out a 120Hz monitor. Let's take a stroll through the outskirts of Baldur's Gate. Looking at the top left, we are clearly CPU limited here, and our FPS shows. At native, we're just below 80FPS on average, with 1% lows at 50. Turning on DLSS again hurts our performance, costing the GPU extra time to perform the upscale while being CPU bound. Frame generation though? All right, all right, all right. 1% lows now match our previous average frame rate and we are comfortably hitting 132 FPS on average. It should be obvious by now, DLSS 3 can take up some of the game slack when CPU limited. Let's revisit the original benchmark pass from my Steam Deck video, The Forest Outside the Druid Grove. At 1080p, we see a similar behavior as our dungeon example, where DLSS hurts our performance and DLSS 3 
properly gets our 1% lows back to nearly our average frame rate. But as an enthusiast mid-range gamer, I play at 1440p, so let's bump up the res. As expected, native performance drops by 28%, though it's still playable. DLSS improves our average frame rate back to 1080p levels. This is expected. DLSS in quality mode is a 1080p render resolution, but frame generation takes it to another level. We get even better performance when compared to 1080p. To drive the point home, let's stroll back through Baldur's Gate. Side by side, it is clear that frame generation makes my 4060 Ti punch above its weight class. Walking through the Worms Rock Fortress, I'm seeing roughly a 61% improvement in frame rate at 1440p. With the drastic amount of NPCs forcing my CPU to a crawl, frame generation is an awesome asset to keep my frame rates up. So, does frame generation make sense in Baldur's Gate 3? From an average frame rate perspective, I really don't think so. Combat in this game is turn-based, and navigating the countryside doesn't mandate fast reflex speeds. But from an immersion perspective, frame generation just improves the game's overall fluidity, and it helps engross me in the world and the story. Let's not forget to mention the game's foundation isn't great. It's clearly CPU limited, and Larian has a lot of work ahead of them to improve the base game. With results like these, I hope this shows where Larian falls short and why frame generation on more devices is a good thing. As you might have heard, FSR3 and AMD's fluid motion frames are out in the wild now, so hopefully we'll see this feature make it into Larian's latest hit. And that's all I've got to say about frame generation in Baldur's Gate 3. Huge shout out for Pure Dark for enabling this feature in this game. I'll put a link down to his Patreon page so y'all can support him as he continues to make mods, enabling the latest graphic generation features. As always, you can reach out to me over on Twitter at the Turk, and I appreciate y'all sticking to the end of this short video today. I hope y'all have enjoyed it, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.